I'd like to um, say some words on the uh, Global Compact on Migration. On the 10th and 11th of December, there will be an international congress in Marrakesh, Morocco. Um, with regard to this Global Compact on Migration, and the participating countries are set to sign this agreement. Rule out holding a second vote in Parliament on your deal. I'm focused on the vote that is taking place on December the 11th. I'm focused on the vote that is taking place on December the 11th. The 10th and 11th of December, there will be an international congress in Marrakesh, Morocco. I'd just leave that bit there at the start so I don't have to waste time going over old ground and for anybody that's new to my channel that's exactly why we're still seeing migrants coming over the English Channel it's absolutely nothing to do with it being a warm day and then just jumping at the opportunity first chance they got but it's interesting to note we have the likes of Matt, uh, Matt Hancock who's very angry about people having the audacity to go out sunbathing it's against the rules apparently slap on the wrist yet the same can't be said for Abdul and his brethren coming over on boats day after day, supposedly illegally, to then be intercepted, then taken here. And of course, we get somebody in this little article here with the I'm very angry routine, but that's always as far as it goes. Nothing gets done about this. It continues because of these agreements. Anyhow, it says the following uh, at least 80 migrants have risked their lives, so we're off to a good start, to try to cross the channel as the UK experienced a sunny weekend. Despite hefty restrictions in, on movement in both the UK and France, eight boats were intercepted in the channel. Intercepted, but that would suggest they were prevented from getting to their final destination. But that's not what they're meaning when they talk about interceptions. Sunny, calm weather may have contributed to the spike. Oh, the sunny weather is what contributed to the spike. No, I'll tell you what contributed to the spike. The same thing that contributed to the spike last week and a week prior to that. The signings from December 2018. It's no coincidence. Anyway, um, over, overall, nearly 150 migrants, including eight children, and the fact that they had to include that there, suggests that the rest were mainly all men. And of course they were. All men. Probably. You would have mentioned women if there was women there. I've attempted the perilous journey during the two weeks since Boris Johnson announced nationwide restrictions on movement for us, not Abdul. The spike in crossing attempts over the weekend came after the first cases of COVID-19 were confirmed in migrant camps in northern France, raising fears of a humanitarian disaster that they never gave a shit about prior. <laughs> they didn't care that they were living in squalor, illegally squatting in Cali. France never booted them out. If they're not applying for asylum in France, why are they there? It's ridiculous. Anyway, it says, every illegal entrant must be immediately returned to France, but they're not illegally entering, are they? They've been intercepted and taken here. If they are not returned, they must immediately be quarantined to protect public health. So, in the one breath, you're saying that they need to be returned to France, but if they're not, why would they not be? Put your foot down and boot them out. It's that simple. But you won't, will you? Of course not. Uh, Natalie L. Picky, whatever, uh, Dover, Dover and Dio, Tory MP, uh, Natalie L. Picky said the crossings were entirely unacceptable. I'm very angry that you've done this. How dare you? <laughs> in the latest crossings over the weekend, the border force intercepted five boats, meaning they met them halfway and took them here. Four on Saturday, one on Sunday. About 2.20 a.m., the border force intercepted an inflatable boat carrying 15 men, of course. At 5.40, a group of 12 men with three women were found aboard another boat. 540, another boat car, nine men was intercepted. All the poor, innocent little men. Then at about 6 a.m., they rescued a group of 13 men and one woman from another boat. What's the difference between that and your previous claim of interception? Nothing. Because it all results in the same thing, them being taken here anyway. You're not rescuing them from anything, and you're not intercepting them. You're fucking transporting them here. Uh, and then it says. All these on board were taken to Dover, where it's expected they would have been monitored for coronavirus symptoms. Well, that's great. That's fucking great. I'm so pleased. I hope they don't have anything. God forbid. My thoughts and prayers are with you, Abdul. French authorities also intercepted 50 migrants, and what they mean by that is they weren't quick enough. They got spotted before they managed to cross the halfway point, <laughs> including two women and a child, so the rest were men. 
skyldige menschen an. Und ich so, okay. Speaking on Saturday after the first batch of crossings. Ja, yeah, I'm very angry routine. <laughs> from it. Miss El Piquet, I presume. With COVID-19 known to be infecting the French camps, it's concerning that 53 more were able to motor over from France this morning. Where did they get the boats? Where did they get the boats? And what are you doing about it? You're taking your anger to Twitter. Oh, I'm, I'm very angry that they've done this and they've been taken here. Well, you could put a stop to it. The government could, but they don't. Um, it's entirely unacceptable that border force officers in our community should be put at risk by people unlawfully breaking into Britain. But they're not, are they? They don't even manage to reach the shore half the time. But it doesn't matter anyway, because they get taken here. You could quite easily put the well-being of the British people first by sending them back. Every illegal entrant must be immediately returned to France. If not, they must immediately be quarantined. Fuck, man. Illegal entrants must not be brought into Dover at this time. We cannot put our country's vital supply line at risk. But they've been taken here anyway. Fucking border force. Border force, man.